Oh, YouTube, team keep it clean. Good evening. Well, if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out, it's kind of late night, a lot later than we usually drop a video. But just thought I'd send you to bed with some good news that the Ravens, a couple hours ago, they placed Justin Houston on the COVID-19 list. Um, there seems to have been just some crazy outbreak around the NFL. Don't know what's going on with that. Um, but it has literally impacted every single team in the league. Some a lot more than others. Uh, and as we saw in the Browns game, they missed a lot of their guys tonight, and they were definitely missing them. And they ended up losing. They ended up losing at the very end. Sounds familiar. But anyway, no complaints because the Browns lost. That helps the Ravens out, of course. But the Ravens, they still got to take care of their own business because everybody ain't going to help you out forever. Ravens been getting helped out a lot this season, but everybody ain't going to help you out forever. But anyway, um, Justin Houston being out, it's not going to help them either. Now, again, if he is vaccinated, then he has to have a uh, negative test for two days and then he can resume practice uh, the following day. So he tested positive today. Today's Monday. So then on Tuesday, negative test. Wednesday, negative test. Thursday, welcome back, Justin Houston. But it's, it's not always that that simple uh, because sometimes they still may test positive. They, they, they might not even get that negative test after the first day. Um, so then that's if he's vaccinated. Um, but anyway, because uh, Chuck Clark, Chuck Clark was somebody that tested positive on, I want to say Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I think it was on Wednesday because Thursday he could have tested negative. Then Friday, if he tested negative as well, then Saturday he'd be cleared and Sunday he could play. But he didn't make it. Neither did Tristan Colon Castillo. Neither, like, so it's, it's not a given that just because he tests early, tests positive early, that he'll be back early enough to play. So, as I mean, is this the whole COVID thing? This 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 NFL version of or this COVID version of NFL, uh, it's been crazy and it's definitely had a big impact on the league. It's literally changed the way that they operate. Uh, it's changed a lot of the 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 roster rules. Um, changed the practice squad rules. It's changed a lot. Uh, so with Justin Houston, hopefully he'll be back. Still, oh, Pernell McPhee. Good news though. Good news. Initially, when I started this video, I said I was going to send you to bed with good news. I was being sarcastic. Uh, but Pernell McPhee, they activated him off injury reserve. So that was nice. Good, good stuff. He's back. Well, he's practicing. He's allowed to practice. Uh, so on Wednesday, when they come back, he'll be allowed to be in the pads and stuff and be practicing, seeing what, seeing what it's looking like. So that is good news. Um, but this season, ultimate test. Ultimate test of depth. Now, as much as we all uh, get frustrated um, with a lot of the decisions that the coaching staff makes, um, a lot of their in-game decisions uh, and a lot of their, well, sometimes when they don't adjust. Um, one thing that you got to say about this staff, uh, and we've known this already, this is old news, especially when you look at the 2015 season. Uh, despite who's out there, despite how who's not out there, uh, they fight. They fight. They, they put up some great effort uh, overall as a team. They put up some great effort, and they don't just cave because they lost all their guys. Sunday, they didn't have Sammy Watkins. They didn't have Jimmy Smith, Chris Westry, Chuck Clark. They didn't have a lot of, a lot of guys who would have been starting. A lot of guys who would have been starting were out. And then, of course, you can go down the long list of everybody who's hurt. But they were in there to the very end, literally the very end, and... Then they decided to go for two. But we, we, we talk about that a little more tomorrow. Um, and, of course, we've all seen the video with John Harbaugh asking the players if they wanted to go for two. But we, we're going to talk about that because there's some stuff that I saw. From, we're going to talk about that when we talk about it, though. Um, but, yeah, th this depth will be tested. Uh, it has been tested uh, all of this year, and it continues to be. Uh, Ravens, they, um, if they went out, that should be good enough. Um, but can they win out against the Bengals, the Rams, and the Steelers? They can. Anything's possible till it ain't possible anymore. Will they, though? That's a different question. But anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have a very, very good night's sleep, good night rest. Uh, or if you're just getting ready to go to work, hope you, hope you have a great night at work. Or if you're just watching this in the morning, hope you have a great day. Whenever you're watching this, hope everything is good. Hope everything is good. Um, I know... One thing uh, that I want to say before we get out of here, um, I know some people feel 
different ways than I may feel, than other people may feel about Ravens decision making, coaching staff, different players, different plays, all kinds of stuff, different moves that they make, different decisions that they make as well. Um, and that's fine. We can agree. We could disagree. Either way, it's fine. But one thing, um, I will not tolerate disrespect. I won't give disrespect, but I won't tolerate disrespect either. Um, it's, and that's why I always say it's all about respect. All about respect. It's the only thing I care about. Only thing that matters. Because we have a lot of conversations on here. We do a lot of speculation on here. We do a lot of things that we think could happen, would happen, should happen. And that's fun. I enjoy it and I appreciate it because y'all be bringing some fire ideas. I be bringing some ideas that they don't really be that good. But y'all be bringing these fire ideas. But it's important that we make sure that there's mutual respect. If you can't respect, you can go. Simple as that. It's not a big deal. I, I mean, if, if you're disrespectful, I ain't going to miss you. If you're respectful, oh, okay, come through. Come through. Hey, yeah, share that opinion. No, go ahead. No problem. But if you're not, bye. Just had to let that be known. It's all love. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to all the team. Keep it clean. Patrons. Uh, shout out to everybody just as a whole. Um, and that's that. So love y'all. Y'all have a really good night. And <clears throat> just like Justin Houston is, at least for now, at least for the next two days, I'm out.